Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Come at you on Thursday. Unemployment uh, in Canada out today, 2.30 Swiss time. Um, no real ideas on that. Um, in fact, it's kind of a weird, weird morning where we're quite short on ideas, but let's just let's go, go over some things. Um, First, let's look at this crude chart. Uh, let's go four hours. You can see we have some some buyers here at 79.60, or maybe maybe they're at 79.50. You could speculate all you want who that might be. Um, is this the U.S. Ten bucks later, trying to fill up with oil, their uh, oil reserves? Their I don't know. Uh, but as a momentum trader in another life, uh, this kind of setup is interesting. So you just want to keep an eye on this level, right? So you've had this big gap up. You've had some sideways action. It seems to be running out of energy. You see we've we sort of crested up at this 8170 top, so we're making lower highs and these same sort of lows, 7970. Um, we're going to keep an eye on this level, depending on what's going on in the world, depending on if, if we're risk off or if there's any kind of panic um, for a short, right? So you, you hit the 79.65s, and then you see how things look. Um, again, for many of you, I don't really recommend this style of trading because you have to be super disciplined and stops have to be tight. Um, and you, you have to not care if you're wrong. But uh, keep an eye on this level, 79.67. Uh, the other couple of charts that are interesting, Euro Norway, we talked about selling this um, at 11.40. I think we talked about it yesterday. I don't know, earlier in the week, we're like, man, oil's bid. We should be selling Euro Norway up in the 11.40s. We saw some more shit uh, numbers out of out of Norway. I don't know what's going on in Oslo. I, don't, I have no idea. I've never even been to um well, that's not true. I've been to Norway, but I've never spent much time in Norway. I don't have any contacts in Norway. Um, but something's not right there. Something's a bit broken. Maybe um, maybe after the dark winter, they're just trying to get their legs underneath. I don't know what the hell's going on. But this chart also looks like she wants to go higher now, right? So we've, we've kind of bumped up against this 1140. We popped up here to 42. Uh, if crude does turn, Euro Norway is probably going to visit this 1150 area. It's getting awfully stretched up here historically, uh, but um, you know we don't we don't have a sell signal till 60, and you're really getting into some thin air up there. I mean, if you go back to the Xanadu days of Euro Norway, this thing did trade up to. Um, I don't know, I traded up to, yeah, that was fun, right? 1313. Who's your daddy? Hopefully he's not Norwegian. Man, I remember that. That was some uh, crazy shit. That was like basically 30 years of derivatives getting blown up. Uh, and we all knew it didn't belong up there, but it was impossible to sell. Um, anyway, stories for another time. What else is out there? Oh, yeah, if, if you really want to get stuck in on this eclectic shit, which I don't recommend. I mean, when, I, when, when my best ideas are dollar Norway and euro Norway and selling crude, usually means just don't fucking trade. Uh, but dollar Norway, same setup here. This one actually looks a little sexier. Um, for those of you who spent years trading dollar Sweden or front-running Electrolux, uh, you'll be more comfortable with this. The spread here is super wide. It's like 75 bips. But this setup looks like she wants to go higher. It's the same kind of setup. Again, um, perhaps just ignore me. <coughs> the other thing on our mind today is gold. Uh, we talked about not chasing this, but 
looks looks to me like there should be some very solid support between 1990 and 2005. Oh, excuse me, it's hard today. Um, buying cheapies in gold makes sense to me. Do you want to go into non-farms tomorrow with a packet of gold on? Depends on your parameters, depends on your style of trading. I would argue the answer to that is no. Um, is today going to be muted um, after, after a couple days of very good yen vol? Perhaps. Um, so, I don't know. You may want to pick up some gold. Then you just have to think ahead. What are you going to do? Uh, you know, you pick up a couple thousand ounces of gold at 05. What if we're trading at 02 going into non-farms, which we, easy, which we easily could be? It's still bid. It's still in the bid area. What are you going to leave an 81 stop? Um, I don't know. I think, you know, this is half the battle here is thinking ahead and, and trying to figure out uh, how to stay safe. But gold, uh, in the bigger picture, looks looks like you can pick some of that up. What else? We got rates here on their knees. One of the things I was talking to um, a manager last night uh, over a couple of beers, and um, this thing has to steepen. You know, the whole curve. You know, we were talking about it, sort of chewing through it, and there's a lot of people who are like, oh, 10 years are going to 2%. I don't think they are, um, and I think we're getting near the bottom of this range. I mean, there's still um, all kinds of inflationary pressures all around the world. Yes, they'll stop raising rates. They may even cut a little bit, um, but it's just one big, you know, Fubar. The U.S. economy and the U.S. situation is a fucking foobar. It's fucked up beyond all reality. I don't know what it is. That's a military term. Um, and eventually, I think that the long end is going to start being questioned. You got this elephant, we'll call $31 trillion in debt. You got credit card debt which is inching up you got consumer debt you got auto loans you got all this this uh, problems in the debt market uh, and so how are 10 years going to go to um, two percent or even two and a half percent so we talked last week that 350 was going to be the ceiling that wasn't really a great call because it went up to 362 but the sentiment was correct now we're down here, we're thinking about this, and we're like, shit, people are getting too comfortable with with the long end. I don't care about the short end. I don't trade the short end. I do trade the long end. The long end, is, is it can't live. It, it just can't, I don't think it can live below three. So, you know, this is something we're thinking about. We're looking for signals. We're looking for a change in trend here. Nothing to do today. Um... Maybe tomorrow, if we see like a, you know, some sort of hysterically bad number, uh, and we see this thing down at three ten tomorrow, um, we'll consider fading it. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that we had, we had a long chat about it last night with a guy I respect who's pretty bright. We were playing both sides of the story, and when you play both sides of any story, usually one side. Uh, becomes clearer. Let's look at cable. Sad day for the professionals yesterday. Um, you saw this thing, you know, everyone bought through 50. That was cute. That was great. Uh, but then it just, you know, it just collapsed on itself, fell, you know. Uh, it was like that commercial. Uh, I've fallen, but I can't get up. Uh, that was cable yesterday. And even after a bad number, we popped up to 04, and then all of a sudden you were like, uh-oh, shit, why is this lower? It's lower because it's lower. There's just too many too many longs uh, in the house. I mean, I can, I, I'm can. i guessing like a billion dollars, a billion sterling was sold between 55 and 35, and it was just a puke. 
you know, and all the execution houses, all the prime brokers are short for those orders anyway. So, but there was still that you saw that just sad, uh, you know, bulimic moment down to 35. Now I don't really know what to do, right? So let's say below 124.25 is bad for cable, but above that, this thing could rise from the dead. Um, so, you, you know, you could actually scoop up some cable here um, if you wanted to and just leave a tight stop at 20. We're not going to do that. Uh, we were square cable. We also squared our sterling yen. Um, anyway, I'm saying a lot, but there's not really much to say today. Maybe short crude, maybe long euro Norway, maybe long dollar Norway. Um, these are all like illusory, they're like phantoms in the machine trades. Uh, now that I said all this out loud, which is half the reason I do this every morning, uh, looks like I'm going to go for a walk in the forest and take, a, take another look at this around uh, 11 a.m. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.